Hello, I'm Nathaniel Smith, and today I'm reviewing The Edge Chronicles Beyond the Deep Wood, book one in this series of The Edge Chronicles. And, um, okay, let's go over the nitpicks I have. Now, none of these nitpicks are really, like, bad or serious. They're just, like, little things that I think could have been done to improve it. Burks, the introduction, I feel, was completely unnecessary. Like, the intro just basically states the entire world for you, and considering the way the story is written afterwards, I just didn't feel it was necessary. It would have been nice to, you know, find out about most of this bit by bit. Oh, and also, there's this, like, map. I hope you can see this. There's a whole map that shows the world anyways, so I didn't think it was really necessary. But after the introduction, the story is pretty great. The, the first chapter is a little conventional, but not like too much so. It's, it's just a very common story that you've heard many, many times. But it's only like in the first chapter, it's only around 30 pages, and then the real story begins. Now, what this story really is, is a survival story. Like, literally, this is a story of the kid getting lost in the woods and getting nearly killed multiple times. And on top of being a survival story, it is amazingly grisly for a survival story for for a children's book. Like, for example, just this scene right here. At that moment, Spelda let out a terrible scream and staggered back, flapping wildly at her head. The music became loud again. It beat urgent. Wait. Oh, there it is. It beat urgent and rhythmical, like a pounding heart. She screamed a second time, a savage cry that chilled Twig to the bone and stuck out frantically at the air around her. Mother mine, Twig cried. What's happening? He saw blood trickling down from the gash of her scalp. Another cut appeared on her shoulder, and yet another on her back. The blue gown turned to violet as the blood spread, and still she writhed and screamed and lashed out at her unseen assailant. It's awesome. <laughs> Again, you just don't see that very much in a lot of children's... Um, children's literature and it does a good job even the artwork is just amazingly grisly like let me see maybe you can see that i don't know but yeah it's an incredible book deserves a lot more credit and attention very very glad that it was willing to go really dark and grisly for kids because honestly we need more of that in children's literature i fear like a lot of times people are worried that kids will get scared at any little thing, but it's kind of necessary to have children be scared. Even more so, I'd say.